Uh, you know, I think this is good. I think, do you think we're getting any closer to the question of why some loves are harder to let go of than others? Let's well, revisit the, that question. Yeah. I mean, the answer, I, I think the answer is, you know, and it's people that there's twofold. I wish I had a brilliant way to sum this into one, but it's, you know, people who you thought you were going to be with forever. Mm hmm. You know what it is? It's people that who we've used our fantasy world, our imagination. We're future paced with. Yes, exactly. Yep. Thank you. That's great. That's brilliant. Um, and so, you know, where we've we've we thought we were going to be there with them forever or we thought we were going to marry them or they're our first love. And it's the only thing we ever think. Right. You know, what is first love? It's only love. Right. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, you know, it's your only love in your mind because how could you ever get over that first? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which there's a reality the of idea. of compatibility yeah. or all the other things you need to have a functioning relationship. Right. But with your first love, whatever it is, it's heartbreaking. Oh yeah. When it ends. And so, you know, that's actually really any sort of fantasy world that you imagined yourself in or future that you imagine, because you're now th having to rethink or throw away, or we don't use whiteout anymore, do we? Uh, or delete. I know. Delete. So delete. sad how old I am, but it's okay. <laughs> you know what? The youngins didn't even get that reference. So I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, but it's any sort of reality for, you know, world for yourself that you envisioned, you have to, it, it comes crashing down. Right. And those are the ones that take a long time.